Hey guys, Mike Binder here. I'm gonna show you how to play Change by Christina Aguilera. So I got a capo on the second fret, and really it's just two chords for the whole song. Uh, you can add some extra stuff in there to spice it up, like an A minor, um, every time, every uh, four times through the progression. And then there's a C sharp minor and a B minor. A C sharp minor and a B major, rather. Um, kind of towards the climax of the song. But through the, the main chord of the song, you have this E, an A, and then back to E. Do that four times, and then instead of going to an A, play an A minor, and then back to E. Let me break down these chords. So the first chord is an E, index finger on the G string, first fret, that's three strings from the bottom. Your middle finger on the A string, second fret, that's two strings from the top. And your ring finger on the D string, second fret, that's three strings from the top. So you play an A and then... I was kind of playing an A2 uh, instead of a standard A. It makes it sound a little bit closer to the track. Um, so index finger on the D string, second fret, three strings from the top middle finger on the G string, second fret, three strings, three strings from the bottom. So, that's what that sounds like. Every four times, play an A minor instead of an A2. And an A minor is the same thing as an E chord, you just bring the E shape down a set of strings. So now your index finger is on the B string, first fret, Middle finger's on the D string, 2nd fret, and your ring finger's on the G string, 2nd fret. And when you do that C sharp minor, you just go up to the 4th fret, counting from the capo. 1, 2, 3, 4. With your index finger on the A string, it's 2 strings from the top, and your ring finger on the D string, 6th fret. That's three strings from the top. And then you, if you can, get your pinky on the G string, sixth fret. Three strings from the bottom. So you'll go C sharp minor, B, back to E. Thanks guys, see you on the next one.